Hi guys, today we are going to discuss about the bones, joints and soft tissue tumors. In that, the most important uh, tumor is the Paget's disease, also called as the osteitis deformans. In this disease, which is the Paget's disease, um, here there is increase in the amount of bone formation but the bone formation itself is disordered therefore the st uh, bone structure is unsound and uh, though there is increase in the bone mass okay then uh, this uh, pages disease can be divided into three stages first is the initial osteolytic stage second is the mixed osteoblastic and osteoclastic stage and third is the coherent osteosclerotic stage Coming to the etiology of the Paget's disease, and uh, this disease commonly is seen in the uh, elderly people, like in the late adult stage, and is more common in the Western countries, like in England and in France. Okay, and coming to the pathogenesis, uh, it can be divided into two. That is, genetic cause can be there, or it can be an environmental cause. Genetic cause uh, may be due to the SQSTM1 gene mutation, uh, which causes increase in the NF kappa B. And uh, this in turn is going to be responsible for the uh, uh, pay, uh, the cause of Paget's disease. And the second uh, cause, uh, genetic cause, is rank activation and the uh, and also the OPG inactivation, which is going to give rise to the juvenile Paget's disease. And um, environmental Paget's disease uh, uh, can be caused as a result of the infection by measles, which is going to cause chronic infection to the osteoclastic precursors. Coming to the morphological uh, morphology of the Paget's disease, morphology of the Paget's disease uh, shows the most important hallmark of this uh, Paget's disease is the mosaic pattern also called as the jigsaw puzzle appearance this is very important it is the jigsaw puzzle appearance will be seen in the um, uh, affected bone and particularly in the lamellar bone it will be uh, commonly uh, this Paget's disease will be seen and this jigsaw puzzle appearance is due to the prominent uh, cementing line which are joined haphazardly coming to the uh, uh, pages disease uh, 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 some of the important stages we'll discuss here the first is the osteolytic stage where the, there is increased amount of osteoclast remember that osteoclast will have uh, greater than 100 nuclear nuclei in them and there is due to the increased osteoclast certainly there will be increased resorption pits formation which are going to replace the bone uh, with the loose connective tissue and they are going to replace it with blood vessels that is um, uh, loose connective tissue containing the osteogenic osteoprogenitors will be present coming to the mixed phase mixed phase you will see there is in uh, uh, there is both osteoclasts are also seen and osteoblast with the new bone formation also occurs in the mixed phase remember that and uh, cell activity will be decreased and there is periosseous fibrovascular tissue will be there form form uh, and this uh, phase is going to uh, show normal bone marrow up uh, 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 bone marrow appearance coming to the third stage that is also called as the osteosclerotic stage in this phase uh, there is new bone for uh, new uh, newly formed bone will be seen um, either in the oven uh, bone or in the lamellar region it can be seen and it will be coarse and a thick trabeculase are also formed here there is formation of thick and a coarse trabeculase are seen and um, uh, on the other side there is also formation of uh, a cortex which is a uh, soft and porous Coming to important clinical features of Paget's disease, the first is the local pain in the affected bone. Lion-like phase will be seen, also called as lionitiasis, osseia, and platybasia, which is invagination of skull bone. Weight bearing on weight bearing, the person uh, shows a uh, bowing of the limbs with chalkstick type of fractures seen, and there is compression of the uh, compression fractures of the spine will also be seen. Increased serum uh, ALP that is uh, alkaline phosphatase with normal serum calcium and serum phosphorus will be there. And uh, how to treat the person that is by uh, giving calcitonin and biphosphonates.